Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 9, verses 35 through to the end, which is verse 41. And this is about spiritual blindness. Now, if you've listened to the rest of the series here, you've noticed that a few sessions ago, I talked about John chapter 9 as being the, the chapter of blindness. Because you see, it begins out talking about natural blindness and it ends by talking about spiritual blindness. Don't forget that in context, we talked about the man born blind that was healed by Yeshua and the Pharisees, some, I should say, of the Pharisees were not very happy with it. And uh, more or less, you know, through all, all of their investigation and their questioning, uh, the man who was healed was booted from the synagogue. And we're, <laughs> we're saying that if you really get in the right place with God, if you really get in the right place according to the scripture and according to the doctrine of the Lord, you might get booted from church too. Actually, you probably will. Okay, verse 35, Jesus heard that they had thrown him out and finding him, you see now, if they threw you out of church, Jesus will come find you. Jesus had heard that they had thrown him out and finding him, he said, do you believe in the son of God? He said, who is he, Lord, that I may believe in him? Jesus said to him, you have both seen him and it is he who speaks with you. Oh, yeah. You know what? I got to say this again. John, the book of John is so meaty. There's so much packed in the book of John. You know, the other books, Matthew, Mark, and Luke are more like biographies, whereas the book of John is just Wow. Talk about nuggets of spiritual gold. And not only that, but you, you look at the, the letters of John too, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and the book of Revelation. Powerful, powerful stuff. So in verse 38, he said, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. And Jesus said, I came into this world for judgment, that those who don't see may see, and that those who see may become blind. Those of the Pharisees who were with them heard these things and said to him, Are we also blind? And Jesus said to them, If you were blind, you would have no sin. But now you say we see, therefore your sin remains. Jesus here is obviously talking about spiritual blindness. It's very, very important to, to be able to see spiritually. So it's my prayer that the Spirit of God would move upon all of you who are watching this, all of you who are listening to my voice, and that the Spirit of God will move you into righteousness, in obedience, and in holiness. And it's my desire that God give you revelation that is so awesome, that is so marvelous, that if, if I would tell you now what you're, going to, what you're going to know in a few years' time, you would be absolutely astonished. Once again, thanks for listening. Seek him. Don't forget to seek him with all your heart. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things.